ang pinakabangga, punong-puno ng fun and excitement. Itong in na in, iba ang dating. The new TV experience is here. Hataw, Pinoy, Chicago. It will change your viewing habit. It's here. Sassy and Galing-Galing. Hataw, Pinoy, Chicago. What's up, ladies? Half of the half of the Black Eyed Peas and you're watching Hataw, Pinoy, Chicago. Yeah. Hi, I'm Edgar Jimenez, the president of Philippine American Network, and you're watching Hataw, Pinoy, Chicago. We have here a very active community leader, Mr. John Paul Ferrer, who's also a financial advisor. And John Paul, I'd like to ask you, how is the present economy, the state of the economy right now, going to affect the um, outcome of the uh, elections, you think? I think it's important for people to actually vote with the way they are affected by the economy and the policies that have been put in place. Um, people are always caught up on the unemployment rate, but typically that's always eight to nine months behind of what's really happening now. If you look at the stock market, it has constant, consistently uh, gone up in anticipation that the economy is picking up steam. We also have to remember that we have China. We also have Europe that is having problems. So it's not just in the U.S., but I believe strongly that the policies that President Obama has put in place will gain traction, especially after we saw the fiscal cliff and after the election, and they come together and actually uh, unite. Yeah. Uh, John Paul, people are saying that um, a lot of Filipinos do not really actively participate in the electoral process. They, know, they do not exercise their right to vote. So what do you think about that? I think it's very important that every come out, everybody come out. First and foremost, Illinois has tended to be democratic in the past few elections, if at all, in, in the history. But the numbers are actually kept, they keep track of the numbers, and they know the gender, the ages. And if, if whatever age you are, it's important you go out and vote. Because even if your, your a candidate does not win, they keep track of who you vote for. All right. Thank you very much, John Paul. Wag po kayo alis mga kaibigan, babalik agad ang Hataw Pinoy, Chicago. The moment that we've all been waiting for, let us welcome the Queen of Jazz Pino, Charmaine Clamore. Beautiful songs of the Philippines. Such a pleasure to sing them for you. And if anyone here would like to take me home tonight <laughs> for a private serenade. All our albums are available <laughs> in the lobby. <laughs> if you get them during intermission, I'd be happy to sign them for you after the show. Take a photo, meet your parents, And if you get a copy of our Jazzy Pino album, Flipping Out, you will hear this one. Woo! This one is for my beautiful brown sisters. Girl, I think you're outside. 
Mr. Edgar Jimenez, the president of the Filipino American Network. How are you, Edgar? Uh, good. How are you? I'm all right. I heard you say during Adobo Fest that we Filipinos need to be more uh, participative in the electoral or political process. Why do you think it's important for us to do that? Well, if Filipino Americans do not vote, they do not have a voice. And if politicians do not uh, value your opinion or voice, uh, you don't have an ability to influence new laws or directions of the country. So that's why no matter Democrat or Republican, independent, uh, you have to vote and show that you represent not only yourself, but Filipino Americans. So it just strengthens the community and enables us to contribute more as a, as a whole to uh, our great nation. So what do you think would it would take to make Filipinos participate in the electoral process? I think uh, a couple key things help is uh, realizing there's a lot of uh, uh, Filipino American candidates now uh, across the U.S. for state reps, uh, even running for Congress, and not just Filipinos, but Asian Americans. Um, I think that's number one. Number two is having them understand that uh, politics matter. You know, uh, how repre your representatives, your congressmen, uh, your mayors, uh, your aldermen um, influence 
your life. And uh, if you don't really realize that, I think it's really hard to motivate a lot of Filipino Americans to vote. But I think that's the key thing, showing them that voting matters because the laws affect all our lives. All right. Very well said. Thank you very much, Edgar. Wag po kayong alis makaibigan. Babalik ulit ang Hato Pinoy, Chicago. travel all around the world with me and I'm so proud to introduce them to you individually on piano. He just flew in from a gig with Mr. Poncho Sanchez. I'm glad I can steal him away from that man and Natalie Cole. On piano, Mr. Andy Lang. On bass, this young cat is super busy, belly cat. When he's not playing bass, he's very busy recording in his own recording studio. The funky man on that bass and that rich sound, please help me welcome Mr. Dominic Thoreau. On drums, fresh from competing in Washington, D.C. for the 2012 Thelonious Monk International Jazz Drum Competition. We are very proud of him. Our musical director on drums and ukulele, Mr. A. The Grimas. Now please help me welcome on stage Chicago's finest, Mr. Ted Holson Sachs. A show for a great cause. This is hip. This is cool. We are feeling good. <laughs> Actually, we are feeling better than good. We are feeling Stevie. Oh. 
tayo sa pagpili ng mga produkto at serbisyo. Sa dami ng mga padalahan ng balikbayan boxes, one company stands head and shoulders above the rest. Sirera Express! What makes Sirera Express different? We have earned the trust and confidence of our customers because we always deliver on our premises. Containers released from the customs within one business day with all duties, taxes, and tariff paid. Check. Boxes bound for Metro Manila delivered within three days after customs release. Check. Delivery to Central and Southern Luzon within seven days. Check. Check. Delivery to Northern Luzon, Cagayan Valley, and Bicol region within 10 days. Check. Strong and durable double wall boxes, plastic strapping, courteous, honest, and reliable service with an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. Check, check, check. We have been keeping our promises to our customers since 1989. Try our service and experience for yourself the Sirera Express difference. Sirera Express! Sirera Express! Sa Sirera Express, hindi tayo kakabakaba. O, ano pang hinihintay nyo? Tawag na sa 847 588-2500 I am Alex Herrera and I approve this message. We're here with immigration lawyer Maricar Madrid Cross, who's also a writer for the Filipino American Community Builder. So, Madam Maricar, madami nagtatanong, mm -hmm. uh, sa pagpili ba ng presidente, merong, uh, merong bang effect or merong bang uh, kinalalaman ang immigration? 
Ah, okay. Yung pag-issue ng mga visas and all that, kasi syempre ang pinaka-concern ng mga tao is how quick are visas gonna be issued? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, whoever's sitting as a president would not have any influence on that because mm -hmm. immigration, uh, I mean, immigrant visas are issued based on priority dates. So, whatever was filed in the past uh, cannot be impacted by a sitting president. So yung mga promises nila na sinasabi na ano talaga medyo ano lang yan, playing politics lang muna, is that it? Well, um, not really. I mean, it, they have the power to be able to come up with things that would benefit immigrants who are here already or who are out there. But, uh, and I mean, also to impact other issues such, such as the three-year, ten-year bar. So, um, I mean, those are the things that might uh, be affected um, in case one or the other is elected. But as far as I'm concerned, I think they're not committed to the issue of comprehensive immigration reform. So we should still fight for that, right? Definitely. So dapat siguro ang ating paglaban ngayon is for th both of these candidates to commit to uh, comprehensive immigration reform. Yes, po ba? because so far, I don't see any, any uh, plan. At the same time, their articulations are in, um, on, in the side of enforcement mm -hmm. or plain no amnesty. Okay. I know that you're very busy uh, attending to a lot of your clients who are, uh, you know, taking advantage of the DACA or Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals. Kumusta naman po ito? Well, uh, a lot of people are uh, on a wait and see um, attitude because they don't know if uh, Obama does not win that this program might not be continued. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the apprehension. And at the same time, the information that's being provided, although immigration is saying, yes, this will be held conf confidential, but the information could be actually shared to um, other enforcement agencies so that in case they become criminalized um, because of the information that they provided, that could impact their ability to remain in this country. They could be put in deportation proceedings. Mm -hmm. but. At the same time, I say, don't lose hope because um, this is a new program and, um, well, th there could be um, a positive thing that comes out of this. I know that there are about 45,000 applications that have been, or no, 4,000 applications that have been approved, approved already. already. Yeah. So you think that the benefits outweigh the risks of coming out, so to speak, from the shadows? I would say so, yes. Just like my experience in 245i, um, a lot of people have been holding out and then they ended up not being able to avail of the benefit. But there's also one thing that I'd like to emphasize, that a lot of people are, re are relying on the help of non-lawyers. Uh, we are trained to spot issues. Um, I know that there's a lot of uh, people out there, uh, well-meaning people, who may um, decide to provide the service for a fraction of what we mm -hmm. charge but at the same time they're not informed they could be in fact misleading mm -hmm. and um, as a matter of fact some some are just plain um, uh, fraudulent. fraudulent so be careful I know that you're an advocate against uh, yung ano yung notario fraud, di ba? Yes. So, mm -hmm. visit www.stopnotariofraud.org so that you know you will know how to uh, lodge a complaint against someone who might be defrauding others. All right. And if you need more information, of course, you can call Maricar's office at 312-857-0857. And that, that's, uh, her office is located at uh, number 10 South LaSalle Avenue in downtown Chicago. And in the north side of Chicago, she's located at 4849 North Milwaukee Suite 408. So again, mga kaibigan, salamat po ng marami, uh, Madam Maricar. Thank you so much. It's always a pleasure. Alright. Wag po kayong alis mga kaibigan. We have more for you coming back here at Hataw Pinoy, Chicago. Portia Sarmiento Guerin, who is an investment banker, and we're asking her a little while ago about the welfare reform and how it will affect the outcome of this election. So, Portia, uh, what can you say about this? 
I really think that the um, one of the major issues that need to be addressed this election would be wel welfare reform. It has a, a wide effect on the economy. There are uh, a lot of people that are on welfare, and what's What's disconcerting to me is this administration just recently got it, the work requirement of welfare reform, I think, of, of receiving welfare. I think that if you're able-bodied and if you're receiving uh, welfare or aid or anything from the government, that one of the main requirements and as a condition to receive welfare would be the, the work requirement. And I think that's imperative. I mean, Welfare in itself, we have so many people out there that are on welfare, I mean, for generations, and, and they're milking the system. And uh, they say that Filipinos don't really come out and vote. And uh, I know that you're a Republican, uh, Portia. Uh, this is Obama country in the sense that this is uh, President Obama's hometown. So what do you say to your fellow Republicans out there? This is a very crucial election. I am... Talking to you, my Kababayans out there that are conservative, I mean, if you haven't ever voted in your life, this is the time that you should vote. There is so much at stake that will affect our generation, our children's generation, and our grandchildren's generation. We have to turn this around. So please come out and vote. Okay, thank you, Ms. Portia Sarmiento Guerin. Wag po kayong alis at babalik agad ang Hataw Pinoy, Chicago. Mr. Ray Elazegui, who's a prominent Filipino-American community leader as well as a financial advisor. So, uh, sir, ano po ba ang dahilan kung bakit kailangan mag-participate tayo mga Pilipinas sa electoral process? Uh, important ito kasi lahat ng gagawin ng Amerika para sa Pilipino, maapektuhan tayo kung sino man sa kanilang dalawang mananalo, dalawang presidential candidates. Oh. Ano po ba ang mahalaga para sa inyo sa pagpili ng inyong kandidato? I think there are two basic things that's very important. Number one would be economy and secondly would be protecting the Americans and the country. Sa pagpili niyo ba sir, nakapili na kayo? Have you already decided whom to vote for in this election? I have always been an independent voter. Kahit na ako high school sa Pilipinas, hanggang dito, I always make a choice, I study the platforms of both parties. Um, but, um, meron kasabihan, what is working, don't fix it. So maraming salamat po, Mr. Ray Ilazegi. Huwag po kayong alis mga kaibigan, babalik agad ang Hataw Pinoy, Chicago.